Mac Life. Thank you for tuning into the channel. So, basically this video is gonna be all over the place. We got a few things that came in. Uh, one of them being the Sound Bomb Denali Horn. It's the mini. This is, well, as you see, two times louder than any standard horn. That's going on my brother's 2024 Honda Rebel 1100T, the Touring Edition. Uh, I also have, okay, well, it wasn't here. It's in the garage. We're going to be heading out there in a minute. I bought a horn that is, like, insanely loud. Supposedly, it's, I think this one, decibels, is... Decibels here is 113. The one I'll be installing that was in here, this is 300 decibels. And the crazy thing about it was, it was like $5.30 on eBay. Brand new. So we're gonna see what the hell that's all about. It looks quality. It looks just as good as a Denali. So I'm gonna go see how that is. Uh, Fans and Heinz stickers, guys. Uh, yeah, you know, email me if you want stickers if you want i got all kinds of stickers motorcycle stickers skateboard stickers any of that type of stuff hit me up emails in the bio we also have a new seat on the honda rebel 1100t it is from it came from like thailand uh it's really nice it's leather and it's got some nice stitching in it i actually it's similar to the one i purchased that you've seen on my bike. Uh, but this one my brother got, I think looks better. Mine kind of has that like shiny leathery look. And my brother's has actually like that real genuine like cowhide leather look. It looks a lot better. Plus it's got the word rebel embroidered into it. So it looks really nice. You'll see that when we go out to the garage. Let's go out there now. I'm gonna put these horns on. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do it in the video, but I'll definitely see how the, I'll put, I'm not gonna put this one on in the video but I am gonna put on the $5 one. I wanna hear how that thing sounds. Was it really worth $5? It is a 12 volt horn, so it will work with that bike. Uh, let's, let's go check it out. All right, we're in the garage and bam, there's a new seat. What do you guys think? Looks pretty nice. Uh, you can find this seat on eBay and sometimes Amazon. Sometimes Amazon. This one right here. Just look for the one. Type in Honda Rebel 1100 seat. Look for the one as the Rebel embroidered into it. And you'll find it all right there. Yeah, looks really good. There's a look from there. He's just got to get the foot pegs. Foot pegs are on, uh, on order. From what I gather, it looks like they're low on stock everywhere. There's some aftermarket ones where, you know, these are like chrome, which, uh, no, no chrome. This ain't no Harley, buddy. So, uh, guys, quick, real quick, here's that horn. This is the uh, $5 horn. Feels all right. I mean, it feels no different than the uh, Denali Sound Bomb. It's got a little bit of weight to it. So we'll see, is it actually worth it? Uh, guys, real quick. Are you in the need for a motorcycle cover? I know the best one for you guys. Check out this one. This is by this company here. Oh, we'll get a little bit of a glare. It's Fenrir. And uh, guys, you want this thing, I, I wish I could give you, a, I don't know how much this weighs, but I mean, you could hear it right there. That thing is some weight to it. And this is really good quality. I have this one. This is just a cheap one. I got it like Home Depot. Uh, it's okay. It's 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 not the best. It's pretty pretty cheap. I can already tell. I'm even taking this out. That this I can tell this has some uh, quality to it. Let's take it out. I'll have a link in the description where to get this. Let's uh, let's check this bad boy out. All right, we have the uh, packaging out. Uh, it's still crinkling over there. Uh, wow, this actually comes with, this is the actual case. It comes out a case. I did not know that. I thought this was the actual motorcycle cover. No, this has a zippered case, which is nice. Cause look at, I've got that thing all just bunched up there. This has a nice little 
curing pouch. Just gonna have to unzip this. And then, uh, that's pretty easy. And here we go. Oh, geez. Wow. Okay. Nice little, uh, some little pamphlets here on it. And then here is your motorcycle cover. I'm gonna take this now out of the plastic. Okay, guys, the cover is on and holy crap. This, I'm not even just saying this. This is a nice motorcycle cover. Obviously the sun would take out the wrinkles and stuff, but wow, I can't believe how nice this thing is. It even has like the reflective tape on here. So if you are parking it somewhere, like on the street, uh, they'll, they'll still see that, which is nice. That does not have that. Also, I noticed in the inside here, look at this. It's got a like um, soft, almost like suede-like inside. So you don't scratch up the bike, which that does not have. And then you do have um, three buckles, I noticed. So if you want to buckle it so the wind doesn't take it. There's some buckles. I did not buckle it, but you can see. There's the buckle. Here's a buckle. And there's a third one. Uh, that one does have buckles, but I leave it. I think that one only had two. This one's got three. This one fits the whole bike. Where that one did not. Uh, I was short a little bit. Uh, really nice. They got their logo here. Nice rubber stitched logo. This little drawstring here. Reflective tape goes all the way around the bike. Really nice. You got this little blue pinstriping. Who says you just? Who says you can't make a a, a motorcycle cover nice? You know. I mean, you might as well. It looks really, really good. I like this thing. Man, this thing is quality too. I mean, this has got some weight to it where that does not. That This one is just so, it's just so cheap. So originally, hopefully my brother doesn't watch this because I was just going to give him this. I'm like, yeah, you can have the new one. And I, was, I was just going to stick with what I got. No, that's not happening. I'm definitely taking this one. So... This one's mine. He can have that one put on his bike. I don't even know if it'll fit, to be honest, on his. Uh, that one would, though. Guys, link in the description. The company, F-E-N-R-I-R, -R, Fenrir. I think I'm saying that right, Fenrir. Uh, they make really good quality stuff. And this is a really good quality motorcycle cover. I am not even kidding you. Check it out. I think you'll be happy. This is, this is good stuff. All right, guys, I just got it like, I don't have it mounted. I just have it hanging there right now just to hair it because if it's a piece of crap, then, you know, forget it. So let's get the key in. And let's see, is this thing loud as shit or what? Oh, Lord, here we go. Okay. I guess. How does it fucking to be way louder? Let me put the let me put the uh, sound bomb back on there. That's the same one I got from my brother. Let's see if let's see if it's about the same. All right, sound bomb is back on. Let's test it out. This might sound different at home, but oh hell no! Sound bomb's way louder. The Denali. That thing's a piece of shit. Okay, so. All right, so, uh, so boys and girls, what did we learn? Don't buy $5 horns on eBay. That claim to be 300 decibels. Bullshit. Uh, that's $5. Hey, hit me up if you want a $5 horn. I'll send it your way. All right, so if you try to take the horn off, it's simple, guys. It's just literally this one screw here. Holds in right there. And it's holding this, uh, the only thing it's being held by right now is the uh, two wires. You just unplug those. And then uh, Denali gives you a little mounting bracket. And I think they give you two. Yeah, they give you two, a nut. And uh, yeah. 
So it's a pretty simple install. I'm gonna install it the same way I did that one. You can see it right there. Real easy. You could paint uh you could paint that little mounting bracket right there. You could paint that black if you wanted. I probably will you could probably actually paint that whole housing. Which now that I'm looking at it, I probably will do one day. Just because uh, now it's bothering me. But anyways, uh, yeah, I'm going to put that on. And uh, that's really it. So we got the seat. We got the horn. He's getting the foot pegs are on order. Uh, to take this seat off, you can use the Allen. But they also make thumb screws, which uh, are a lot easier to use because then you have access to under the seat. Let's say you got to get tools or your insurance card, whatever, uh, then you can just do it by hand. But as of right now, we just have that in. The thumb screw is on order two. I think that's it. I think that's all the stuff he ordered. He's getting a carbon fiber license plate frame. And uh, I think we're good to go. But guys, that's just a short little video of just what's going on. It's still cold here. It was 70s, now it's 30s. Supposed to go up next week to the 50s, so I'm gonna try to get some content out. A uh, little sneak peek, I don't know if you saw in the background, was never released the video. Um, those enormous crash bars, which are nowhere near as slick as that. Those are nice. I don't even know if you can get those anymore. Those were sent to me. Uh, I'm not even gonna explain what What's going on with those? Those are just gigantic. Uh, I was sent those, put them on. They're 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 crazy. They're gonna be coming off. Uh, anyways, guys, that's it. If you have not subscribed, please do me a favor and subscribe. Man, I've got so many views. I get so many views a month. I wish uh, at least. Well, I wish all of them would subscribe. But can you just give me a quarter of them? I'm just asking for a quarter. Give me a half, please. Help me out. Help a brother out. Guys, I'm telling you, this summer's going to be crazy. A lot of motorcycle content coming up. Big motorcycle trip. That's going to be like a five, six-part series. And uh, give this video a thumbs up. Guys, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.